not only have they have our presidents assume some of these responsibilities or assume these powers, such as drawing up kill lists and assassinating American citizens, Congress is going along with this. Congress actually passed the National Defense Authorization Act. That gives the president the authority to use the military to arrest anybody they want to, including American citizens, put them in prisons without even a trial and held indefinitely. But you know, their argument is, well, it hasn't been used all that much. But you know, like, like, like welfare starts a little bit, like the income tax, it starts a little bit, but it's the authority and the principle is 100% and someday it's just liable to grow as conditions, you know, when economic conditions get worse. Look at what's happening in the other countries as economic conditions deteriorate. There's a little bit of disturbance in the streets and we won't be immune from that. That's just why our job is, is, uh, is so, so important. Because we do have some time, we do have the method, it is up to us to understand what freedom is all about, how to answer these questions, and not be, you know, not succumb to this temptation to say, oh, you know, a, a little bit of government is okay to take care of so-and-so, but if it leads to what we have today, we have to challenge it. And uh, so we have these two tugs of war going on. One, uh, those in charge probably know they're in trouble, but they're also quite capable of using the National Defense Authorization Act and other things to suppress our civil liberties. To me, to, do, to fight this battle, the most important thing we protect are our civil liberties to speak out. <laughs> last several decades is that you've lost your privacy and the government has become more secret. And it should be the other way around. Government should be open and your privacy should be open. because I think the opportunities are different than ever before. So if you're for peace, if you're for prosperity and freedom, and if you understand it and you have access, everybody now, you know, five years ago or so, I didn't know exactly what, I only knew one type of viruses, it was medical viruses. Then I found out what viruses were when things went viral on the internet. <laughs> and you send out notices and every one of you have, have friends out there. So I can't imagine how many people in this audience would reach, how many more people? I mean, you might even have 100 people on your list or 200 people on your list. But so it is, we, we now are living in this wonderful era because we're further along. But I have to warn you one thing, true freedom has never been tried. They, we've just talked about it off and on. And it always seemed that we make some progress, we have this scientific progress, but the interpersonal relationship of the human being hasn't progressed. I am optimistic enough that the, us as human beings can make progress morally and spiritually as well, and we ought to apply this technology for that effort. So it would be a grand thing to live in a society that is promoting peace and prosperity, and I welcome you to the fight. Thank you very much.